Hi guys, in this video we're going to take a slightly different look at the standardizing formula z equals x minus mu over sigma. So at the very minimum what this formula is doing is it's standardizing a variable x by subtracting its mean, if you like, subscript x. So that's the mean of all the x's over the standard deviation subscript x of all the x's okay and so this is called standardizing now it also turns out if that x has certain properties then this variable z that we create this standardized variable can also have some other interesting implications okay but let's just try to leave those out and focus on just this one point i want to make here all right first off let's rewrite this as x over sigma of x minus mu of x over sigma of x. Okay? Now, taking a look at this here, this looks kind of like it's in the form of y equals mx plus b, which you may recall from algebra as the equation of a line with slope m and y-intercept b. Let's try to figure out what's m and b here. Let's rewrite this again a little more spread out. Okay, so you notice that this looks like it is the slope of this line. This of course is our variable, right? This is not, and nothing here is variable, this is just a constant. And this is our y-intercept. This is b. It's a negative y-intercept. <clears throat> At least uh, with the sign as it's currently displayed, right? So, this we've also learned, so let's rewrite this as z equals 1 over sigma of x times x minus mu of x over sigma of x. This is the form of a linear transformation of a variable. In this case, x is our random variable. x has mu and sigma, right? So z is just a linear transformation of x. So we can get the mean of z pull it all the way here. So the mean of z we can calculate from what we've learned about random variables and taking linear transformations of random variables in previous videos. We know that the mean of a linear transformation of a random variable is the slope, in this case, 1 over sigma x times the, me the mean of x plus the intercept, which is negative here. So minus mu of x over sigma of x. Right? This was the slope. This was the intercept. We're getting the mean of z now, not just z. So we've learned from linear transformations that the mean of a linear transformation of a random variable is equal to the slope times the mean of that random variable minus the intercept, okay? The variable part, the fixed part, if you don't like slope and intercept. And look at, look at this. This is mu of x over sigma of x minus mu of x over sigma of x. So this is zero. 
and that's what a standardized variable is purported to, to, to do is to, to make the mean disappear shift the distribution shift the mean of the the random variable to zero so if you recall z had a mean of zero when you studied it in class now the other thing we need to do what we would like to do is to get the variance or standard deviation that's a subscript z of z and you'll remember that the intercept had no effect on the standard deviation or the variance we could do variance if you like first that it was the slope squared of x so the slope of the linear transformation squared times the variance of x and if we do this we're gonna get sigma x squared the variance of x over the variance of x which is equal to 1 and that's also another key idea behind standardization it's to pull the distribution to mean to zero and to 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 unitize if you will the variance and if we take the standard deviation which is just a square root of this we're going to also get one so we've learned to look at this standardization formula that we've been taught in our basic interested stats course in a slightly different way by just rewriting it as the equation of a line and then looking at the slope and the intercept as the variable and the fixed component in a linear transformation of our original random variable that we're trying to tra standardize. So standardization is taking a linear transfer, uh, linear function, sorry, linear function of a random variable in a very specific way, in order to end up with, as we prove to ourselves, a mean of zero and a variance, standard deviation, of one. Okay. So I hope this was helpful somewhat to visualize this uh, idea of standardization and also of linear functions in a slightly different perspective and perhaps marry the two topics all right and have less spread out information in your head all right till next time make sure to check out the other tutorial videos on my channel subscribe share and have a great day